All right, we've got another collection to look at. Real excited about this one. Stay tuned. All right, guys, so we're gonna go out, go in the car, go take a look at this big collection. This was actually an email from a viewer. Before we get into it, uh, I just wanna say thank you for watching these videos. Thank you for hitting those thumbs up. Thank you for leaving comments. It doesn't go unnoticed, doesn't go unappreciated. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, now with this one, just a heads up, I'm going to just give you the heads up now. We aren't going to talk price. He asked not to. And out of respect for the seller, we're not going to talk price. I also wasn't able to record in his house. He asked me not to. Totally legit, totally fine, perfectly normal. That's why I ask people, you know, I usually ask people off camera and they let me know and then we move forward. But uh, without further ado, let's get into the car. All right, guys, we are heading downstate a little bit heading over to look at another collection I got an email a fan of the channel I believe so I don't know too much about this I'll be honest with you guys I know there's a lot of slabs I know there's a lot of raw stuff it's a good amount of stuff I believe I don't know we're gonna take a look we're gonna find out I'm, I'm very optimistic which is bad I don't like being optimistic I like staying neutral in these situations, but I saw some pictures, I was happy with what I saw, and we're gonna go take a look. All right guys, so I'm home. As you can see, it's dark out now. Uh, here's the stuff, we'll go through some of it. So he asked me not to record in the house, perfectly fine, that's why I ask people. Um, and we're also not gonna discuss pricing, so I apologize. Uh, but I am going to go through some, I'll, I'll record flipping through some stuff and then we'll go over some other stuff. All right. All right, guys. So I've got it up, but pretty much all inside. There's some stuff I have uh, in inside, mostly slabs and stuff. So maybe we'll go over the slabs and real quick as I thumb through stuff, but I'll pull keys out of here to talk about. All right, guys, we're going to go through this quick. This is that McFarlane Spidey number one and a 9.8. This is, I think, Amazing Spider-Man 1 Shattered Variant and a 9.8 ASM 300 swipe. X-Men 101 First Phoenix. This is the Venom Spider-Man True Believer reprint. It is signed by McFarlane and Michelini. ASM 700 Mosaic Variant and a 9.6. First Doomsday here. You always want to look for that fourth and fifth print. Unfortunately, that's a first. This is just an ASM book. First Hobgoblin vs. Spidey. Not, not the biggest book in the world. This is the first Hobgoblin, and it is complete. This is the first Hobgoblin, and it is incomplete without the tattoos inside. This is uh, tied for the first black suit. New Gods one, nice book. Watch this climbing, fellas. Watch this, and ladies. Watch this one climbing with the New Gods movie coming. Nice X-Men book and a 9-0. This is ASM 238, first Hobgoblin in the Canadian price variant nice book here these things are hard to find and they're expensive and this was a red old red label no idea why i don't know why it got a red label x factor this is the first archangel and here we go asm 129 in a pgx 50 does not look any bit of a 50 note this guys we're going to send this out and another book from this batch. We're going to crack those, clean them, press them, send them out to CGC and see what they come back as. The silver McFarlane there. What is this? Venom 1, Kirkham variant. Here's Superman 1 from, I think, 86 or 87. Not the biggest book in the world. Secret Wars 8, getting hot, fellas. That one's getting hot. Hulk, third print here. Third print, very expensive book, hard to find. Here's one for the ladies, for She Venom or whatever you want to even call her. Craven's Last Hunt in a 9.6. Great book, though. First Cable there in 8.0. And here's another PGX. First Kingpin, a PGX 6.0. This one looked closer to a 6.0 than that 129 did to a 5.0. Hulk 340. ASM 252. First Black Suit. Here's a nice one right here, guys. ASM 299 in a 9.8 first Venom cameo. Captain Marvel, first appearance of Captain Marvel. That's Marvel superheroes there. 
First Beta Ray Bill in a 7.5. This is cool. ASM, this is a Marvel Classico Mexican edition. This is a glo um, glossy cover. Signed by McFarlane. Almost like a metallic cover. Marvel Classicos. Real cool book. This is not so much... <laughs> not not the biggest book in the world here. Not quite sure why he slapped someone. Oh, second Punisher in a 6.5. ASM 301. We've talked about this book. Nine eights are near impossible to, to find there. He likes Amazing Spider-Man. This, this seller, this collector has a lot of ASM books. Here comes a nice one you may have seen before. Amazing Spider-Man 300. First Venom newsstand edition in a 7.5. Another 301 here. That's a newsstand in an 8 -0. Moon Knight 190. Hey, another. That's a 9.2 newsstand. First, Deadpool, New Mutants 98. Look, more ASMs. He likes the 290, all the McFarlane stuff. 298, 299, 300, 301, a lot of that. Some more affordable slabs there. Here's another, again, McFarlane, Spider-Man. Spider-Man won the gold. First, Carnage here, ASM 361. Second, Deadpool, X-Force 2 and a 9.8. And last but not least, Spider-Man. Here is the stack of keys, the important keys. You know, first Gambit, the Wolverine miniseries, first Nightwing, stuff like that. Um, I'm going to re-bag and board all these, and we're just going to go over a few, but I wanted to show you a nice stack here. And um, even more so, I'm looking right now, one, two, three short boxes and one long box. So you're looking at... Two and a half long boxes of $5 and up books, which was nice. But again, they all need to be bagged. They all need to be boarded. They all need to be organized. And then they all need to be priced. That's a lot, a lot of time to be put into this collection. But again, let me bag and board a bunch of these and we're going to go over them next. All right, guys. So we went over a bunch of the slabs. I bagged and boarded some of the raw stuff. We're just going to go over a few of them. Some of them you've never seen before if you've watched my channel. So I was excited to find some oddball stuff. A lot of them we have gone over before, but it doesn't mean we shouldn't go through them again. First up, a book we've talked about a lot, Nova Number 1, First Richard Rider. Uh, Nova is coming to the MCU. This book is hot right now. Something we've never talked about on this channel. This is Star Wars Number 107, The Final Issue. Hard to find final issues in certain runs. Star Wars is one. Conan's another one. G.I. Joe is another. You want to find those last issues, they get a little pricey. Fantastic Four, 67. That's the first him, Adam Warlock, kind of. He's in the cocoon. Uh, this, unfortunately, is a detached cover, but still, nice book. Another one, Beat to Holy Heck. Amazing Spider-Man 15. First appearance of Craven the Hunter. No back cover, detached front cover. And happens still. Nice book. Last in this run here, Marvel Superheroes presents number 18, first appearance of Guardians of the Galaxy. They look nice in the Mylar, right? So here we go. First Nova, final Star Wars issue, first him, first Kraven, first Guardians. Got it? Moving on to the next group of five. A book that I have had extremely good luck in. Uh, good luck sub submitting to CGC. This is New Mutants 87. This is the first appearance of Cable. I have had extremely good luck with this book. And this one looks sharp too. I may send this one out and hope for that 9.8. Amazing Spider-Man 194, first Black Cat. Now, this guy was big into Spidey, big into Venom, so there's a lot of Spider-Man books here. Amazing Spider-Man 252, first appearance of that black suit. Amazing Spider-Man 316, first full Venom cover. And as far as I'm concerned, great, just classic cover in my opinion. Amazing Spider-Man 361, here's a little newsstand action. First appearance of Carnage. First Cable, first Black Cat, first Black Suit, first Venom cover, full Venom cover. He does have a little head on a Hydro Man cover. And then first Carnage. We're going to start rolling into some Spidey stuff now. This was a nice batch of books. Not, not, not as great as I first thought, but pretty good. 
All right. These are going to be fun. Amazing Spider-Man 301. This book, man, you get this in a 9.8. It is crazy expensive. You get this book in a 9.6, and it's not. The census is what gave this book the value. These, these, these white covers, white covers, black covers, are really hard to get in high grade. This one is especially hard. Low numbers on that CGC census in a 9.8. Very expensive book in that high grade. Amazing Spider-Man 299. Right? Yeah, 299. First Venom cameo. Amazing Spider-Man 298. This is the first 290. First McFarlane on Spidey. And then you guys remember the slabs? Couple ASM 300s. Well, here's two more. Amazing Spider-Man 300s. First appearance of Venom. So we have ASM 301. Again, not a major key, but you want this in a 9.8. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man 299, first Venom cameo, first McFarlane here on the 298, and first full Venom, the cover that has been replicated more than any other cover in comics, Amazing Spider-Man 300. All right, last batch here, and then you guys can go, but before you do, hit that thumbs up. All right, you guys saw this one before, X-Men 266, first Gambit. There were two in there, so two first gambits. As as good of a luck of I as I have had with that New Mutants eighty seven, that first cable, I have equally bad luck with this book. I have never been able to submit and get a nine point eight. I've had several nine fours, nine sixes, even some nine twos. Never a nine eight. Uh, next up, two of the same. This is Secret Wars eight. This is the origin of the black suit. One is really high, great. One of them I may send out to CGC. Maybe even let's get silly. Wanna get silly? Should we do a pre-screen on this book? Mm, 9.6s are still nice money, so we'll see. But one does look a little bit better than the other. And now we have two obscure things, and I don't know if we've ever talked about one of them. This is Venom number one, Lethal Protector, the foil red cover, right? Not a particularly difficult book to get, to find in the wild, in comic shops. But this is a newsstand. This one does garner a little bit of a premium. Um, I was, it stood out. You got to look for that newsstand in this book. Spawn, early spawn issues too. You want to find those newsstands. This one is even a little more different. This is, again, Venom number one, Lethal Protector. I know what you're thinking, black cover. I know what you're thinking, gold cover. Neither. It's not the white cover either. This is actually signed by Stan Lee. Now, there's no COA, but it looks like Stan's signature. There's two options here. One, sell it raw, sell it as it is. Or two, send it out to CBCS, get that verified signature, which it will come back with that gold verified signature label. I looked at the book. It's probably a 9.4 to a 9.6. There's a crunch on the top corner. Not that that matters. You know, 9.8 would be awesome, signed by Stan Lee, but... I don't know. So I don't know what to do. I mean, maybe you guys can decide. Leave in the comments what you guys think, man. Should we submit this to CBCS? Should we try to move it raw? I don't know. I, 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 I might send it off. I don't know. But that's it. That's it for this video. That's it for this collection. Again, it was a big old collection. I apologize. I cannot talk money. He asked me not to. I also, obviously, you guys saw, did not record there. He asked me not to. And I'm going to do what he asked. Um... But that was the some of the good stuff. And again, there's a lot more stacks of keys and minor keys and long boxes of keys and whatnot. But just talk about a small portion of it. So thank you so much for watching. Hit the thumbs up. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Feel free. Share that video. Don't forget to subscribe. And as always, keep it comics.